All right, so back at you. We're gonna have to edit this one up a little bit too, as we talked about. Come on in here, nice and close here, son. So we got our axle in here, and we got a lot of distance here, and we would love to move the whole shoot mesh over a little bit. We moved it, our chain over, moving it in by putting the chain ring on the other side of the spider. But now I want to try to maybe move this over a hair. And there's a lot of different ways we can do that. But you've got to be careful here. It's never going to be absolutely perfect because this is now a single speed. It originally had this on here, which made that stick that way out. So consequently, i got to get on one knee here, all right? We could take this, and again, we got some cone wrenches. You guys should be thinking about cone wrenches. Park, we sell the park ones. They work great. A uh, cone wrench is a nice little thin wrench. I've loosened all this stuff up before ahead of time for you guys. So this is just a lock nut is all this thing is. Now, it could be as simple as taking that lock nut off on that side and taking this lock nut off on this side and switching positions if you needed more space on one or the other. So what if I did this? And what's going to happen if I did do that? I took that, right? You're with me here, right guys? We had this lock nut on this side and this lock nut on that side. So what if I took it and I took that lock nut off and I took off this spacer and all of this action. See, I got a spacer and a washer. This side we just have a washer. So we'll leave our washer on to that side. And we're going to take this stuff and we'll put all of this business over onto this side. And we'll put this one onto this side. What's going to happen now if we did that? Notice how close that is there. Now, I don't have a lot of action. I should move my whole axle over. As you can see, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be on that good on that side. So, I got to move the whole axle over a little bit. Not a big deal. See what I'm doing there? I'm just moving my cone nuts in on this side and out on that side to give us a little bit more tension. Okay. So, now, I did have that washer on it. No, I didn't put a washer on that side, did I? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. I'm sorry. You should have a washer in between your cone nut and your lock nut. Sometimes when you're dealing with this chain stuff and you're trying to make something work, it's not necessarily, you know, again, this is a 10 speed wheel. It's a five speed cog one on the back here for it to make it a 10 speed. But if we did that, did that, did that, and then put this on, what would happen now? I'm definitely going to be moved over, aren't I? Shall we see what it looks like? We'll guess and test, right? Is it going to work? Yeah, it's going to work. Is it possible the thing is going to rub? Yeah, it might possibly rub. Yeah. Alright, now, look at what we got now. No good. Still no good. It does, this, this looks great. But come around here. Now this was an extreme. Again, we switched the axle around. Notice where my wheel is now. It's not in the center at all. In fact, the whole thing shifted over drastically. So this is that option option is no good. Okay, so we're back to the drawing board. Let's go back to the drawing board again. But you get where I'm getting at here. That you don't have to necessarily you can fudge it a little bit. Yeah, that was a little drastic taking that monstrous spacer out of there. Oops. Whoops. Ugh. Sorry guys. Here, here. We had a thin nut. You're not going to want to do much more than three or five millimeters. So maybe if we just thin this down a little bit, you could grind this spacer, find a little bit different spacer, just enough to get it to go in a little bit more. Again, you can play with your axle a little bit fore and aft. Yeah, it's not going to go exactly dead nut straight in the middle, but if you want it to go straight in the middle, then Break down and buy your set of flip-flop hubs. Because a flip-flop wheel is going to be working the same amount on both sides. Works like a charm. But hey, if you're on a budget, you're using your old wheel, you're turning it into a single speed, you're going to have to do some drastic, might have to do some drastic things. So again, playing with your axle spacer. You call this the dish of the wheel, guys. We'll get into a dish of the wheel in another episode down the road. But we're kind of playing a little fudge factor there. A little bit of... Uh, Rube Goldberg, a little bit of ingenuity, a little bit of saving some bucks until I got the money to go get myself the right wheel set. 
I want you guys to never fear. The Bike Man for you is here.